Today we use keyboards every day, from physical ones that we use on our computer to virtual ones that we use on something like a mobile phone. But have you ever thought why are they designed this way? Most keyboards, including the one you probably use the most, are QWERTY keyboards, with the name coming from the first six keys on it. But why did we end up with this design? Well, it's actually nothing to do with computers, but instead typewriters. When typewriters first came about, there was actually several versions of keyboards you could get on them. With the QWERTY keyboard becoming very popular, as it would mean typewriters would jam a lot less often. Typewriters used to jam if you hit the keys too fast, especially the same key. Trying to type someone sleeping in a book must have been an absolute nightmare. Anyway, the QWERTY keyboard was designed to reduce this problem as the most commonly typed keys were spread out across the keyboard, which in turn made typing a lot slower on it. And this was perfect for typewriters as it meant they would jam a lot less often, meaning more work could be achieved. But why did we keep this keyboard design when computers came in? It's not like computers were going to jam. The main reason we transferred this type of keyboard to computers was to do with its familiarity. Now, when computers first came in, most people could use a typewriter, and so when they were trying to learn all these new skills on a computer, typing wasn't one they'd have to learn as they could transfer that skill straight onto it. And what about when typewriters became non-existent? Why do we still use a QWERTY keyboard? Well, again, it's to do with familiarity. When we first learned to use a keyboard, we learned on a QWERTY keyboard, and to learn a whole new keyboard would be quite the hassle and so therefore we're stuck with the QWERTY keyboard, even though it's designed to make typing a lot slower. 